Hi, boys and girls. Today I'm going to read you a story called Inch by Inch by Leo Leone. And it is about a very, very clever little guy here. Inch by Inch. One day, a hungry robin saw an inchworm, green as an emerald, sitting on a twig. He was about to gobble him up. There he is. Don't eat me. I am an inchworm. I am useful. I measure things. Is that so? said the robin. Then measure my tail. That's easy, said the inchworm. One, two, three, four, five inches. Just think, said the robin, my tail is five inches long. And with the inchworm, he flew to where other birds needed to be measured. The inchworm measured the neck of a flamingo. Do you think that was more than the tail of the robin or less? It looks awfully long. He measured the toucan's beak. Beak is right here. The legs of the heron. Heron have long, skinny legs. The tail of a pheasant. This whole thing is the pheasant's tail. The pheasant is actually hiding in the grass over here. And the whole hummingbird. Think about the pheasant's tail and the hummingbird. Which one is bigger? Which one is smaller? One morning, the nightingale met the inchworm. Measure my song, said the nightingale. But how can I do that, said the inchworm? I measure things, not songs. Measure my song or I'll eat you for breakfast, said the nightingale. Then the inchworm had an idea. Go ahead, he said. I'll try. Go ahead and sing. The nightingale sang, and the inchworm measured away. Hmm, what is it that he's actually measuring? He measured... And measured, here he is. He got down, now he's going along the ground. That bird is still singing. Inch by inch. There he is, moving right along on the ground. Until he inched out of sight. And that's the end of the story. That was pretty clever the way the inchworm got away from the nightingale so he didn't get eaten.